Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you for joining me on today's Smile Machines. You tell them, what the hell is a Smile Machine? And I tell you, look at this car, man. It makes you smile. You know why? Because it's beautifully restored. It is an amazing color combination, not just yellow, which is beautiful to begin with, not just the black stripes, which is really nice as well, but with the black interior, all the little call outs, things like that. This is a beautiful restoration, very authentic. We're going to take some time and look at why this car might be a little nicer than some of the other cars you might look out there, as well as some of the options around this car. Highly, highly option car. And I think that uh, once you see those kinds of things that are not on every car, not every car will look the same. So let's take a minute and we'll walk around. All right, so now I want to take a minute and just look at some of the options that are just right in this area here. A lot of times people will say to me, hey, Tone, that is a great looking car, but we don't always know why it's a great looking car. So for instance, like this. The shelves, oh, the Chevelle Supersport, you try that a few times, came with this hood, but it didn't come with this hood. This is a big part of the hood. This is a very expensive piece of this hood. This is the cowl flapper. When the car is running, it sits like that, right? When you step on the gas, the vacuum drops down. This opens up, the cold air hits the windshield. It gets nice cold air inside. It's got the air cleaner that seals to the bottom of the hood. Perfect setup, not to mention great looking, right? Throw in uh, here. Simple things like bumper guards, simple things like hood pins, all these little touches, right? We put the right muscle car tire on the BF Goodrich Radial TA. This car is supposed to have polyglass tires or the, good, uh, the wide ovals, right? They look really great on the car. However, uh, they don't drive like a radial. So you'll have to decide which kind of tire you want to run on the car. We can discuss that later. The 396 callouts, we have a 350 horse car and we have a lot of options under the hood and around the car that we're going to look at next. But what I wanted to point out was just how great this is. And lastly, uh, we're going to move on to the quality of the paint because that, my friends, looks as great uh, on our test as it does in the camera. All right, so I like to do the test of paint and I, this is why I do it because when you look at pictures, pictures look great of every car, right? You don't really know. Here is what, how we've solved that problem. If you can read the, the description here, nice and crystal clear, the letters all nice and crisp, you know that is a much better paint job uh, than others that are maybe blurry and things like that. The better the paint, the crisper the, the words are, the better you can see things in the paint. And here's a perfect example of why that is. But before we get to that, there's an expensive part of this car that I want you to know. This right here, you can't even feel the stripes. Why? Because they went ahead and they put the base color down and wet sanded it. Then they laid on the black stripes and wet sanded it. Then they cleared over the whole thing, right? That's a whole nother step of, of this to do, which costs extra money. Those are the kinds of things that says to me, this car is a little bit nicer than some of the others. All right, so come over here, check that out. Look at this, like every letter is crystal clear. You can see every piece of font in there. This is how you want to buy a car with paint like this because it looks so, so good. All right, now it's time to get to the money shot here. So you want to go to a car show maybe, right? Or have some friends over to look under the hood. This is how you want to get this done. Here's what we're talking about. It's detail stuff, right? You may not care about that, but I'm telling you why some cars are nicer than others. Here's a perfect example. Like the fender bumpers that are here, most of the cars have had them fall off and people don't put them on. These right here, the adjusters of the hood, they don't keep them there. This also has the tower clamps and the correct hoses on here. You say, Tone, tower clamps decide whether a car is good or not? No, those don't decide it on their own. However, it's just one more step that shows that somebody was willing to put extra effort and extra cost into the detail stuff. The detail stuff makes a car look great. This is, one, again, one of those cars, highly optioned. Power disc brakes, right? Disc brakes were standard, power disc brakes were not. Power steering was not standard. This has power steering, okay? Air conditioning was not standard. This has factory air conditioning in here, okay? We go on and on, under hood light, all those kinds of things. The solenoid setup for the flapper here to keep uh, rain out, things like that. Uh, the condenser, the decals, the uh, battery topper, like even this foam piece right here, almost identical to the factory one, but not the same because they don't sell that piece anymore, but it looks good. The washer bottles here and it's hooked up. You say, well, Tone, isn't it supposed to be? Of course it's supposed to be, but most people don't do that step, right? They don't do that extra step to make something a little bit different than the other cars that are out there. This is detailed. It looks nice. You can open, you can go to a car show and it looks really great. You'd be super proud. All right, so this is an important piece of the car for several reasons. So several of the reasons are, this says that I'm a super sport. This says this just passed me. 
Uh, I tried to attempt to race it and I got smoked by it. But that's not really why I'm here. Why I'm here is to talk about some of the detail stuff that is important, okay? So for instance, like we have the correct SS tips back here. If we look underneath here, we have the 12 bolt rear with the F41 suspension, right? That's an optional piece of uh, these Chevelles in general, right? With the big sway bar, all right? Uh, the Super Sport would have got that kind of piece, but these are the things we're looking for, the call out of the bumper. The stripe placement, that's a really important piece. You say, Tone, it's, they're black stripes, right? They're on the car. Yes, but if you look, the front stripes are much wider than the back stripes. People do this wrong all the time, and they make the stripes the same size, line them up at the front, and that is not correct. These are done the correct way, and they're clear coated over. You can't even, you can't even feel them. Uh, and that helps you also when you're washing and waxing the car, keeping the car uh, and the stripes from tearing over time and having to repaint those again, right? All new glass, the correct package tray with the speakers. The speakers are done the right way. The speakers are mounted underneath the, the, the deck package, right? They're not mounted on top with big Sony letters and say explode on them, right? This is a very authentic uh, representation of exactly how that would have been. Then we move into here, okay? And we have the correct decals in here for the jacking instructions. This piece of carpet that's in here is a little nicer than the factory would have given you. This is actually incorrect, even though it's really nice. It's incorrect. It's supposed to have a mat, a plastic mat inside here. The trunk is splatter painted in here. It's not only splatter painted, but it's clear coated over as well, right? So if something was to spill inside there, it wouldn't, uh, it doesn't start rusting underneath the trunk mat, but it's insulated. You got new wiring back here. It's just a nice, nice car. I just, I don't know how to explain it to you. When you look at hundreds and hundreds of Chevelles, and we've had hundreds and hundreds of Chevelles, some are much nicer than others. All right, so come join me inside here, but I do want to say this, this, listen. Somebody spent a long time lining that door up. Again, we're back to options. All right, for instance, tilt wheel. Okay, this is kind of funny because the SS emblem has been installed upside down, right? So beautifully restored was this unless a mechanic, a technician took this off and took it apart and, uh, and didn't do it properly. That, that could have happened, but whatever. That's an easy fix. Buckets and console, not standard, okay? Power windows, not standard. Power locks, not standard, right? Upgraded audio system, not standard. Rally dash, right? So uh, you could get the SS dash, right? But this has the upgraded gauges, which is another option, right? The TAC is another option on top of the uh, additional gauges. This is an air conditioned dash, so you have the vents that are right here. New carpets, seat covers, headliner, the overhead footwell lighting works. This is the only piece that's in the car that I think that we should take out. A lot of people put this in here uh, because they, you know, they don't necessarily trust the old uh, original oil pressure gauge or things like that, especially if they don't have one, but that's up to you whether we leave it in here or not. It's just uh, the dash is so beautiful. Like I don't want to add the one gauge there, but you can tell us what to do. Even the lighting inside the console is working like it's supposed to. So you can see the letters in the middle of the night when it's dark out. It's just such a nicely put together car. I don't know how to explain it to you guys. It's just, it's just one of those things. All right, so let's close up the video, run down a few things that we talked about. We talked about a long list of options, a beautifully restored car underneath and on top. Check out the pictures online. You're gonna be like, wow, that is a beautiful car. But most importantly, we're talking about a car that the likelihood of you running into this car, just like this one, remember, they built uh, you know, 400,000 Chevelles that year, 400,000. But the likelihood of you running into a car just like this is probably non-existent. How cool is that? The flapper hood here, the real cal induction, uh, air cleaner set up in there, right? The hood pins, um, the air conditioning, the tilt wheel, the power windows, the power locks, all of the detail upgrades on the car, power steering, power disc brakes, all that stuff is here, which makes for a beautiful driving car. And you can live in it, man. When you get a little bit older, you like the tilt wheel, you like the air conditioning, you like all of that nice stuff. Forget all that. Forget all that. that say that just was enough and that would be enough how it drives is a whole nother level. It rolls on down the road. It's one of those cars you can go out with another couple in, man, and go to dinner, take the kids and go to dinner, whatever. Dinner is a whole nother experience in a super sport, super sport big block Chevelle than it is uh, taking out your daily driver. Anyway, call us, 301.
816-1000. We'll tell you all about this uh, Real Deal Super Sport. If you don't mind, click the share button down below there. Uh, if you would like the video as well, that helps get it out the message that we're here, we're doing, we're putting in the time. Uh, if you subscribe to the channel, you're going to get some great new stuff, new content coming out all the time. And lastly, let's go for a test drive.